Hi folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we will discuss about the acute chorioaminitis and the funicitis. So acute chorioaminitis by definition, it is the inflammation of the amniotic coronic membrane of the placenta in response to the microbial invasion. This type of inflammation is mainly from the maternal from the maternal side. So the infection or the inflammatory reaction starts from the maternal side and goes towards the fetal side. Commonly, it is seen in the younger woman, especially those with the history of amniotic fluid infection or the periterm premature ruptures of the membrane. It is commonly caused by the two or more microbes and the microcone can be bacterial infection, fungi infection or any viral infection. In terms of bacteria, the mycoplasma, ureoplasma, urolyticum, mycoplasma hominis, Gardena vaginalis, bacteriaris, group B, streptococcus, and E. coli are the most important ones. While in terms of fungi, candida is the most important organism to remember because it causes the formation of the 10 yellow microabscesses. While in terms of viruses, HSV and the CMV are most commonly seen. While in terms of staging and the grading of the infection, so staging, it means where the neutrophilic response is located. As we said that it is from the start from the maternal side. So the stage one is when the infection, I'm sorry, the inflammation resides below the coronic membrane or up to the one third of the coronic membrane. While the stage two is when it fully involves the coronic membrane and involve up to the amniotic membranes as well. While the stage three is, is that when it fully involves the coronic and the amniotic membrane, along with that, there is a karyorexis of the neutrophils. While in terms of grading, it depends on the how much quantity of the neutrophil reaction is there. If it is few in number, then it means grade one. And when there is a huge number of the neutrophils, it causes the formation of the microabscesses. So it is a severe infection and categorized as grade two. So the first clue you will have about the inflammation or the infection in the placenta when you receive the placenta specimen. If you can recall from our first video that physiologically the fetal surfaces or the membranes are thin, gray, clear, and the semi-transparent. But in this specimen, you can see that there is a cloudiness or the opacity. So it is the first clue. While in this gross picture, you can see these thin, yellow, little microabscesses formation. These are commonly seen when the underlying infection is the candidal infection. So in terms of microscopy, as we described stage one, when the neutrophils or the inflammatory response lies below the coronic membrane or up to the one third of the coronic membrane. As we described earlier that the, this inflammatory response starts from the maternal side. So it will start from this side and goes towards the fetal sides. While in the stage two, it fully involves the coronic membrane and goes down further and involves the amniotic membrane as well. When it, here you can see that there is a flat lining of these cubital cells of the amniotic membrane. As the inflammatory response goes down further, it will create the formation of a papillary structures on the amniotic membrane, which determines or which shows there is an underlying inflammatory reaction. So here in this picture, you can see these papillary type structure formation in the embryo. So there is an underlying severe infection goes on. Well, as we say that the stage three, it occurs when it involves the coronic and the amniotic membrane both. And there is an uh, acariorexis of these neutrophils. Well, in this picture, the, it is a GMS stain which highlights these high fees formation of the candidal infection. 
while discussing about the necrotizing phenocytes it is by definition is the inflammation of the umbilical cord in contrast to the uh, acute chronic amenitis which was mainly the maternal response while the phenocytes it will be completely a fetal response it can also uh, uh, similar to the chronic uh, chorio amenitis it is caused by the any bacteria viruses fungi or the parasites and the microorganism commonly gain access to the placenta or the umbilical cord uh, either by the ascending in, in ascending infection from the endocervical canal or from the maternal blood stream or by the direct inoculation is is any diagnostic diagnostic procedure was done so discussing about the histology before we discussing histology if you are seeing the umbilical cord slides before you have, before you see the histology of the fetal membranes and if you notice that there is an phenocytes the inflammatory rest, inflammatory cells are coming out from the umbilical arteries and goes into the vatrans jelly and you diagnose the uh, phenocytes so always keep in mind that then there will be the infection in the coronic or the amniotic membranes as well because it is less likely that there is an phenocytes alone alone but if you see a co acute coronic amniotis it is not necessary that there is an underlying phenocytes as well so uh, this is the end of the video thank you